the Redneck Garage YouTube channel. I want to tell you thanks for watching. Make sure you get down and throw this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment on what you think today. Today we're going to show you how to properly install straps to your machine so you can haul it properly. I'm in a lot of off-road groups and the biggest thing that I see is people are super proud of their strap job. So we're going to go over how to do it. There's no other way about how to do this. There is ways, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to and how not to. So right here in this bag is some straps. And we're going to have links to these straps down below the video. So you're going to want to run your strap around your tire like this. You're going to take it and loop it through the hook. Now you want your strap to be on your tire in the 10 and 2 o'clock position. Then you're going to take your, your ratchet and you're going to want to feed it through your ratchet and hook it onto your trailer. Then you're going to want to tighten it down. Okay? Now your machine can move back and forth a little bit but we're gonna have the e-brake set so whenever hauling your ATV your side-by-side -side, your golf cart whatever it may be um, you never want to haul it in park there's specific reasons this is not the video for that Specific reasons to why you don't want to haul your ATV side by side, and this is for every brand, in park. You always want to haul it in neutral and the e brake set. And there you go. Your machine is secure. Now, mind you, I'm not gonna do it, but you do the other two sides, and then you'd go around and snug these up evenly. Make sure your machine's straight. Set your e-brake, and then just to keep your machine in position, I would come up here with a ratchet strap and tie down to the front just to help keep your machine from rolling because It'll roll, it doesn't need to roll, but it'll roll. So we're gonna stop that rolling from putting a strap in the front and snugging it up against these rails, okay? But you can tighten these down a little more. Another thing you could do is time down here And use these to hook it back into here, okay? That'll pull on your machine. Now, what I see a lot of people doing is hooking their straps right like this, one there, one there, in there crisscrossing them okay they're crisscrossing them one's going over to that side of the trailer one's coming over here to this side of the trailer they're tightening them down that's a no-no for two reasons if this strap comes loose this one's going to constantly yank your machine 
off to the side that it's pulling and it's going to end up off of your trailers. Another thing is this suspension. This is unsprung weight or whatever they call it. Your suspension is going to loosen your strap, tighten your strap. Loosen your strap, tighten your strap. That's going to make a strap come loose. So, if you don't want to spend the $109 on a set of four of these, which is the best way in my book, you can take these. These are $20. I'll have links down below. These are good. These are good. They're rated for like 2,800 pounds, something like that. That's crazy. You'll take one of these. Now, mind you, my, my trailer is different than, than yours, or maybe you got the same trailer. But you're going to take these, run them through your wheel, okay? And then you can run your strap from here, and then you can do the same thing on your back. That way you're strapping out the wheel. Your wheel is the best place you can strap your machine down with. Because you strap your wheel down, your machine can move and do everything that it needs to do, and it'll stay in place. Now, with that being said, if you absolutely have to use a ratchet strap, and you don't, you're too cheap, you don't even want to buy these, run your ratchet strap through your rim. It doesn't have this little soft padding on it so it's going to rub the paint on your rim but chances are you really don't care because if you did you wouldn't be slamming it in a rocky mud hole so there's multiple different ways to tighten down your machine but anywhere past the ball joints from here up is a no-go zone now locally around here I've been known to put the e-brake on and just run a couple of straps down here on the a-arms now keep in mind guys when I do that I'm not going on any interstates it's still a no-no it doesn't make it right because I did it but it's still a no-no but I'm not going on any interstates shop to get warranty work done most of the time I just drive them because they're street legal but in one video you'll see me where I did it half assed so that concludes today's how to get her done these are really nice straps for 109 bucks you can haul a car with these that's what they're for and keep in mind it's rocking because I didn't set the e-brake but I did that on purpose to show you guys. Watch this rock. Those straps don't come loose. They don't come off. It's not going anywhere, even with it rocking. Okay? But when we go to haul, it's not going to rock. Because I'll make sure it doesn't. But yeah, there you go. If you haul your vehicle any other way you're doing it wrong and you're not doing it safely so i want to thank you guys for watching and i hope that you enjoyed what i just showed you today and gave you a little insight a little knowledge on how to properly tie down your machine and i've heard a lot of people say to tell people in the groups don't tie your machine down by the wheel because the control arms and stuff can't handle it. I'm here to tell you now, if your wheel and control arms and all of that can't handle having a strap that's not cranked down, it's not a log chain or anything like that, it's, I mean it's snug, it's tight, if it can't handle that, you bought the wrong machine okay because if it can't handle that 
it can't handle the abuse. But then again, I have seen some videos of people. Yeah, forget I even said that. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching this quick one here. I hope it helps you. And that's what it's really all about, my channel, helping anybody I can. And I'm really glad that I updated to this system. This is how we used to haul cars for years. I just never, I don't haul these that much. And if it weren't for us doing two big trips in June and July, I wouldn't have even bought these. Because I normally don't haul them, and when I do haul them, it's local. It's right down the road. So, that's why. But that's the only reason I bought these. It's for them two trips, and they'll probably not get used for a long time unless I gotta haul a car or something. I bought another goodie. We'll do another video on as soon as it gets here in the mail. You guys are gonna like that. It's trailer accessories. That's what this month's YouTube is gonna be on. Trailer accessories, how to's, do's and don'ts. So we have something good coming. All right guys, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the uh, likes and the comments and all of that stuff. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace out and God bless. Don't hurt yourself.